Hi, I'm Mitch Gallagher from Sweetwater. As I'm filming this, we've just received big news from our friends at Apple. They're releasing a new Macintosh operating system called Mac OS 15, which they've nicknamed Sequoia. And they're simultaneously releasing iOS 18 and iPad OS 18. Now this is super exciting because many features will be shared across all three OS platforms. The new Mac OS includes tons of new features focused on improving productivity, making it easier to get things done, increasing the connection between iPhones and Macs, improving security of course, and perhaps most intriguing, Sequoia sets the stage for the new Apple Intelligence features, which Apple will be rolling out in the coming months. Now I'm betting that like me, you can't wait to start taking advantage of all those great new features in Mac OS 15. But as I've done every time there's been an OS update on any platform, I mean, not just Mac, but Windows, iOS, iPad, and more, I'm gonna advise you to be patient and cautious before you install the new OS. Many updates go smoothly, but there can always be issues, and since we rely so heavily on our computers to make music, we don't want there to be any problems that impact our ability to get our creative work done. A big consideration is that music and audio apps, plugins, and virtual instruments engage with the computer and the operating system in different ways from what we'll call, say, mainstream apps. Plus, there's all that hardware we use to capture, process, and playback music and audio, including audio interfaces and other hardware. That hardware needs to be able to communicate with the computer and its OS, and sometimes compatibility issues can arise. It can take time for music and audio software and hardware manufacturers to update their products to make them compatible with the new operating systems. I mean, compatibility doesn't just happen automatically the second that the new OS is released. Now, in some cases, no updates are required. In other words, some software and hardware products are compatible with the new operating system right away. And some manufacturers can make updates quickly and release new software versions very soon after the new operating system hits. But for others, it can take some time for them to do the extensive testing and work required to be 100% positive that their products are compatible with the new operating system. How long it takes depends on a lot of factors, but a big one is how deeply the hardware and software need to tie into that OS in order to work. But as we've seen over and over before, even if there are incompatibilities, they're temporary. All manufacturers want their hardware and software to work with existing and new computers and operating systems, so we know they're gonna prioritize their updates to ensure compatibility with Mac OS 15 Sequoia. So step back, take a breath, and control the urge to update your system until you have confidence that everything you need to make music and audio is ready to go. Once you're ready to move to Sequoia, the first thing to do is to verify that your computer is compatible with the new operating system. Apple is listing compatibility with iMac Pros back to 2017 and compatibility for most Mac Minis and MacBook Pros back to 2018, while iMacs and Mac Pros are compatible back to 2019. MacBook Airs are said to be compatible from 2020, while Mac Studios need to be 2022 or later. Now, whatever Mac you're using, double check to ensure it's compatible before you update. And note that Apple is saying that going forward, Intel Macs will no longer be compatible. You'll need to have an Apple Silicon machine past a certain point in order to update the OS and to take advantage of upcoming features. But it all comes down to this. Be sure you're 100% positive that all of your hardware and software is completely compatible under Mac OS 15 Sequoia. It's not like anything using your current Mac OS is just gonna stop working when Sequoia comes out. So keep making music and creating audio with your current rig until you're sure. Then, when everything checks out, install the update and begin taking advantage of all those great new features. So how do you know when you're good to go? Your best resource is Sweetwater's collection of OS update information located in the Sweet Care section of our Sweetwater.com website. The hub for all the new operating system information we've collected is our Sequoia Compatibility Guide page. On this page, you'll find a list of music and audio software and hardware manufacturers and the status of the compatibility of their products with Mac OS 15. Tracking down compatibility for all the software and hardware you use can be a time-consuming challenge, and our Sequoia Compatibility Guide is a one-stop resource for compatibility information for music and audio software and hardware from hundreds of manufacturers. Having a single page where you can check compatibility is just super convenient and certainly a real time saver. Plus, Sweetwater's techs are in constant contact with our manufacturer family to ensure that we have up-to-the-minute information on the Sequoia Compatibility Guide page. 
At the Sequoia Compatibility Guide page, you'll also find links to several other important resources, including a guide on how to create a complete backup of your computer using Time Machine before you update. Please don't skip this essential step. Skipping it could mean losing precious data that can't be replaced. I always have a complete and up-to-date backup of my Mac before I start any update process. If you have a backup, then in the unlikely event that there's a problem with the OS update or a compatibility issue, you're covered. We've even created a guide to help you get your Mac back to where you were before you attempted to install Sequoia using that backup that you created earlier to downgrade to your original operating system. Now, Apple makes installing a new OS easy but it helps to have a guide that takes you through the process. So we've also created a Sequoia download and installation guide where you'll find clear step-by-step -step instructions on the upgrade process. Now, please don't assume that installing a new operating system is in any way scary or difficult. That's just not the case. We simply want to provide you with complete information so you can make an educated decision about when to upgrade and also provide help with resources to guide you to getting installed and rocking with Mac OS 15 Sequoia as quickly, easily, and painlessly as possible. I'll finish up here by saying, be cautious, be patient. Before you install the new OS, thoroughly check out the resources we've collected at Sweetwater's Sequoia Compatibility Guide page in the Sweet Care section of Sweetwater.com. As with any OS update on any device, it's better to wait, to be cautious, and to be prepared. Then, when you install the new OS, the process will be smooth and easy, and you'll be able to continue creating music and audio with no interruptions. Visit the Sequoia Compatibility Guide page in the Sweet Care section of Sweetwater.com for complete information. Thanks, I'm Mitch Gallagher from Sweetwater.